Hello, it's Kelly Marie Alvarez here with a video for Simon Says Stamp where we're going to be using some new Lawn Fawn Valentine's Day product. And the first thing I've done is die cut a Happy Mail mailbox. And so the first thing you're going to do is fold along the two score lines that the die creates for you. So I'm going to fold that first one and now the top one. I'm also going to fold along the score line that creates the little opening flap of the mailbox too. Now to assemble this mailbox, what you're going to do is you want the back side facing up. So you'll see that the die creates this little embossed circle that I'm going to show you what that's for later. You want that on the back. Then you're going to fold up the bottom and fold down the top, flip it over, and you have your cute little mailbox with that opening and closing flap to it. Now to adhere this mailbox together, I like using some super strong tape like score tape and I'm going to line the whole back piece there with tape. And you can do this because the opening of the mailbox we're going to tuck letters into is created by the bottom piece. So I'm going to peel up all those liners and just fold that top piece down and just adhere everything together. And now I have this cool, awesome kind of three-dimensional mailbox that's ready to play with. Now the die creates a little embossed circle right there and that's a guide as to where to put the flag for the mailbox. So you'll see we'll take the little mailbox and it's going to line right on top of that embossed circle. And you can decide where you want your mailbox flag to go. You can even put a little brad in there so that you can move the mailbox flag up and down. And here's one more little look at that embossed circle and we're just going to layer that flag right on top of it. Next, I'm going to work on the cute little envelope from this die set. So I'm going to go ahead and fold along all of those score lines there and use my bone folder just to create some nice sharp creases. And in this case, I'm actually going to line the entire inside of this envelope with tape. And this is just one way to do the envelope. I'm going to show you a couple other ways later. But I'm going to peel up all of those liner pieces there and then fold down all of my edges so that they're nice and adhered and the envelope stays nice and flat too. And then next, I'm going to take the cute little heart from the set and lay it right on top to seal the envelope. And then you can see how adorable it is to tuck that little envelope inside of the mailbox. I just can't take how cute it is. It's so sweet. And you can pull the envelope in and out of the mailbox. You could even shut the whole mailbox all the way shut and the recipient could open it and dump out the little envelope too. Now, one really cool thing about this envelope is that we sized it for all of those sentiments in the love letter stamp set. And even the little happy mail envelope also fits inside of the envelope. So here, I'm going to stamp the happy mail, and I think it's so cute. And then in this pink envelope, I'm going to stamp the thank you sentiment, which is just adorable too. And I love that you can have a little hidden sentiment in there. Now for the Happy Meal one, what I'm going to do is take a glue dot and put it on the back of a heart and then just adhere my finger to it a couple times just to take that adhesive really stickiness off of it and almost make it removable. So I'm going to take that right there and layer it on top, closing it shut but making it really easy to open too. So you can tuck it in the mailbox just like that and then we can pull it out, remove that heart and see the sentiment on the inside which I think is so sweet. Now with this Happy Mail Envelope one, what I'm going to do is actually just close it like that and then tuck it in the mailbox. And the mailbox will actually keep it closed for you. And then when the recipient pulls it out, it opens up and they can see whatever message that you stamped inside, which I just think is just so adorable. So now that I have my little mailbox made, I'm going to work on a card. So I've cut some mermaid and noble for cardstock with a stitched rectangle. And here I'm going to use a simple stitched hillside border there to cut some grass out of this noble for cardstock piece. I'll run it through my die cut machine and now I've got a hill for my mailbox to stand on. So I'm going to layer that right on top of my mermaid sky. And then I can go ahead and stamp my sentiment, which is going to be a little message to say I love you that comes from the Love Letters stamp set. And I'm going to use one of our Everyday Sentiment Banner dies to cut that out. Then I can go ahead and add a bunch of foam tape to that and layer that onto the card. Next, I'm going to take some birds from the Love Letter stamp set and start adhering them to my mailbox. I've also die cut a little pink heart from the Happy Mail die set and layered that onto that mailbox. I thought it was really cute. And then here I have a die cut Happy Mail envelope also from Love Letters. So the Love Letters and Happy Mail go together perfectly. I'm going to tuck that into the mailbox and then add a cute little yellow bird. And so I'm going to add double foam tape to my bird and then single foam tape to the post of the mailbox. Because when you form that mailbox, it actually has kind of a three-dimensional look to it, which kind of equals the height of a foam dot. And then I'm going to use double foam dots on my little yellow bird there too. Now I'm going to trim down a card base, which is going to be four by five and a quarter. 
And I'll also trim down some Let's Polka in the Meadow striped paper for the background of this card. The stripes kind of remind me of this airmail kind of thing, which really goes along with our mail theme. So I think it's going to be a really cute background for this Valentine's Day card. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold this card base, layer that cute little striped paper right on top of it, and then I can layer my scene on top of that. And I love how well Happy Mail works with love letters, and it could work with so many other stamp sets too. You could have so many cute critters mailing valentines to people. I just think it's so sweet, and I love the interactive element where you could pull the little envelope in and out of that mailbox. So I cannot wait to see what you guys do with this awesome die set. So thank you so much for watching today, and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.